Hi, this is Lucky Robin, and today I am making a sassy, saucy pork rib in the crock pot. For this recipe, you'll need your pork ribs, a cup of apricot jelly, a cup of teriyaki sauce, a tablespoon of garlic, a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, which you can leave out, a tablespoon of ginger, and a cup of honey. All right, we're going to start by adding a cup of honey. I guess that's cold off. No, not quite. <laughs> I had to rewarm my honey because it was completely crystallized. Okay. So. Alright, that brings that up to the right level. And add in our apricot jelly. Now this came out with more of a syrupy consistency because it didn't quite set up right. But that's okay because I use this a lot in um, making recipes and making sauces. So it's easier to get it out of the jar that way. Okay. So let's add in our half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. A tablespoon of garlic. Button down to dregs of this jar and our tablespoon of ginger yeah mix that up real good now we want to put a Thin layer on the bottom of the crock pot. All right, I'll be back with the ribs. All right, and some of these are spare ribs, and some of them are country style ribs because I just asked my son to bring in ribs from the garage freezer and this is what he brought in. I needed to be more specific but honestly we're not that picky. Anything that came from this pig is good. Layer that in the bottom of the crock pot. I'm going to pour a little on top there so it's between the layers. Yeah. 
the country style look more like this. There's a lot more meat on them than the other style of rib. Oops. Anything that's left over will go into stir fried rice. And that is all there is to that. lid on. Alright, and select two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whoops, it's up to high. So high for four hours. So this is the final result. A nice deep rich glaze on the pork ribs.